All right, everybody. What we're going to do is I want to talk to you about creating a table. And I just want to remind you of some of the uses for a table. Um, and we're going to go ahead and create one. We're going to use a school schedule as an example. Okay. And so let me just give you a couple examples of tables uh, and proper use of the table and what not to use a, for a table. So a good use of a table could be for uh, standings, for sports, schedules, um, TV listings and things like that. So here's some examples of where you might use a table. Well, in that case, it doesn't have a table. But let's look at here, TV schedule. Um, and so a course schedule is one example of how we're going to use a table. So that's what I'm going to use. So let me go ahead and get you to our code here. So at our school, of course, we've got two days in our schedule. So we're going to create two tables. I'll walk you through creating one. And of course, you can do any other tables. First thing you want to do is tell the browser you have a table. You should let the, t the browser know when the table begins and when it ends. Otherwise, it might think that this header 2 is in our table. So always remember to close your tags. Next, we're going to tab over. Uh, we're going to just create this row by row, and that's how you do it in HTML. So each row is created us using the TR tag, and it just stands for table row. We're going to tab it over. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our table. We're going to set up all of our columns with headers. And we're going to use the TH tag for that. TH stands for table header. So we're going to have a period. What period of the day is it? And we're going to put each of these on their own line. Course. Instructor. And room number. Well, let's go ahead and save our changes and take a look at that table in our browser. So here's our table. It doesn't look like much, but if you highlight it, you can see little gaps in between each of your columns. And so what's going to happen in a table is it will be as wide as the content inside, and each one of these columns will be as wide as the widest bit of content inside. So let's go ahead and create a class. Let's create our first period of the day. And my first period, I have prep. Create a TD. And first period. Now watch what happens if I just create one TD and I don't create any others. Let's go back to the page, hit refresh. And if I highlight it, we can see first, but we've, we're missing these gaps here because we haven't finished out that table row. Please, when you're creating tables, whatever your maximum set of TDs or THs are, be consistent. So it's best to start by thinking in terms of your header. And if you needed to add one or subtract one, do it in the first table row. But then from then on, figure out how many columns there are. So our first table row has showed us that we have a four column table. So in every table row, you need to account for all four columns. You don't want to accidentally put five in. And of course, you want to have the exact number. This is going to be important when we start merging rows and merging cells among a row. Um, you're going to want to account for all of those. So I'll put on here teacher prep because I don't have a course first period and I'll put my handle I'm Mr. 100 Visions guy my YouTube channel NA well okay north uh, was it 112 or something which where my office is Okay, so I save my changes, and then we run it, launch in Chrome. I guess I didn't have to. And what you can see here is you can see now, as I highlight it, how everything fits in. So anyway, you just go through and you just add each row. And so we have a four-period day, so we're going to do this four times. 
And I like to be smart and lazy, and I recommend you do the same. We could hand type this all out over and over again, or we can just copy and paste. And if you like the mouse way, you can right click and copy. I like to just do control V to paste. And so this will be second period. And second period for me is programming one and programming two. And North 105. Save my changes. Go to the browser, hit refresh. Now notice how much wider my table is. It's because as I added more content under course, it expanded that column. Okay? So before long, you're going to want to start styling this. And at this point, you can figure out how to do the cells. But let me show you one more bit of warning before we style it. What if we accidentally forgot to close our TD and instead we forgot the slash there? Watch what happens. Look what happens here. I put, this is a, a, instead of closing the TD, I accidentally forgot to put a slash that ended up opening the table cell. And then we open another one without closing that one. So it creates an empty cell. And then that creates a fifth cell, a fifth column, as it were, which is way out here. And we don't want to do that. Okay. So you got to be careful that you close your tags properly. 